Hello guys, um, this is Gujo and welcome to part 10, I guess, of my platform tutorial. Um, in this one, we are going to create a pause menu. So first off, I'm just going to uh, show you a little demo here of what we're going to do. So as you can see, we have some falling blocks here. Uh, we ain't going to do the background. Um, it's just to demonstrate that um, we actually paused. Um, so you can see that we are pausing and then we can res resume by pressing resume or clicking the pause button again. Um, and you can, for example, press restart to restart and main menu to go to another scene like a main menu. Um, and then you can press quit. Um, so I just press quit and then it quits the application. So now we are in uh, in Unity. Um, so first off, we are just going to create the actual UI for the what do you call it for the uh, menu. Um, so we are going to use the uh, new UI system, which um, I guess came out two months ago or something. I can't really remember. Um, so. If you right click here or go to game object or go to create, you can create um, a UI canvas. So canvas is basically where all our buttons and UI elements is going to be drawn to um, are going to appear. So what we are going to do is go to render mode and instead of saying screen space overlay, we're going to say screen space camera. And we're going to set the render camera to our camera. So the GUI, uh, I mean UI elements get drawn to the camera. So now we are just going to set the order and layer to something higher than these sprites here, which is zero, um, because if it is lower, the UI elements will be uh, behind these objects or sprites. So now go to the canvas and then we are going to create a panel um, as a black background or not a black but a darker background so um, the actual scene seems darker when we pass the game so the actual menu gets in focus. Um, so we're gonna, we're, oh, sorry, uh, we're going to scale it up because you can see there's rounded edges here um, and we don't want to see that we just want it to be plain uh, dark so go to the color here and just make it dark um, and make sure the alpha here is um, over here so uh, it's transparent um, you can do whatever you want um, I'm going to teach you how to do the um, the art stuff. I'm just going to teach you how to do the basics. Um, so it is your game and you can do whatever you want. Um, so in the panel we're just going to rename it um, uh, Pause UI. Um, and then we are going to create, um, right click on the Pause UI and create a button. So it is a child of the Pause UI. So now you can see we have added a uh, a button, um, and you can obviously press this button. Um, so we are just going to change the text so it says resume. Um, I'll just rename this so we know what button it is, and then press in the text in the uh, child of the button we created, which is the text which is this um, so we're going to say resume and as you can see the text is a little bit blurry to fix this we are going to um, first off uh, make the font size a lot bigger and then you just saw the text disappeared so to prevent that we are going to set the vertical overflow to overflow and now we can see that it is horizontal, uh, no I mean vertical, 
but it is an overflowing or uh, disappeared. Um, and then we are going to set the horizontal overflow to overflow. So now it is right. Um, so scale it down and now you can see the text is a lot sharper, which is nice. Um, so go back to the button and maybe make the highlighted color, which is when you hover over the button a little bit darker. So we get a little bit more feedback. Um, and now I guess I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D like that. Um, rename this. What do we want to rename it to? Um, restart. Um, just going to change this hex to restart. And I'm going to move the button down. And maybe move this up. Um, that that looks that <laughs> um that looks fine. Um, so we are going to duplicate this again and um, name this um, main menu, and go down to the text and rename this to main menu. There we go. And then I'm just going to move the button down this and then we are going to create the last button which is the quit button um, the, that is the button that quits the application or the game so just move that down and then I'm going just going to create a simple text by right clicking on the pause UI and again UI text so now we can see we have a text right here and I'm going to change the text to post like this and the color to white and we still have the same problem with a blurry text so I am just going to quickly make it centered and uh, change the font size to uh, something a lot bigger and horizontal overflow, overflow and vertical overflow to overflow. Um, that looks a, a lot better. Um, so yeah, now we have basically created our basic um, uh, UI screen. So now we're just going to make this um, interactable. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. So you um, actually can press the buttons and something happens. Because when we press play, play can see we have our buttons and post and the player is still moving and nothing happens if we click them so now we are going to do so something happens when we click the buttons so when you click on one of the buttons you can see that down here there is uh, something called on click which obviously means um when you click the button so it says list is empty so if we press the plus sign right here um, you can see a new thing has come up so we are going to uh, create a script so we actually can call a function from the from when we click for, for example re when excuse me um for example when we click the resume button, we resume the game and hide the menu. So this is going to call a function. As you can see here, we have to assign an object or a script. And then we can choose a function. So we're go just going to create that. And so let's create our script. So go on scripts and create a new script. And I'm just going to call it pause menu um, assign that to the main camera um, what the heck oh no spaces <laughs> there we go 
Um, so I open the script. Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. Um, pause menu. And um, we're just going to remove this. Um, so we have a new clean coat. Um, so we are first going to create a variable that is called public uh, game object uh, part UI. We're going to use this uh, variable to enable and disable this. So when we pass the game, this will be enabled. This whole, uh, you can see this whole uh, UI will be enabled. So uh, that's what we are going to use that variable for. And then um, a private bool. So nothing but this script can access the bool. Um, called post uh, which equals to false and uh, invite start our function start can also call it that um start is getting uh, is being called whenever you start the game or uh, in the start of the game it should make sense um we are just going to set the pass ui which is this variable here to set active to false so when we run the game this uh, UI will be disabled which is this uh, tick uh, this boolean right here so it will be disabled when we run the game because we don't want the uh, UI to be uh, uh, shown when we just start the game um, and now we are going to move to our update function. So update there. Um, and we are going to say if input dot get button down pause. So um, get button down pause. Uh, we are going to set this button in the Unity. Uh, in a moment, so now we're going to say uh, pass equals to not pass or the opposite of pass. So what this does is we are toggling this boolean here. So we are. Uh, it basically says um, if. How can I explain this? Uh, pass is equals to the opposite of pass, which is. If this is true, it will be false. If it is false, it will be true. So that means we are toggling it. So if we press pause one time and enabling it and press it one more time, and then we're disabling it. That should be pretty simple. Um, and now we are going to say if pass. So if we pause the game, then we are going to set um, pause UI dot um, set active we're going to set that to true so now the pass ui is going to be shown and then we're going to set the time the time scale to zero so what time scale is is um basically um <laughs> um it's basically setting the time to zero so nothing happens so time is zero is um I don't know how to explain it, but um, hopefully you understand. You can look it up on the scripting reference. Um, then we're going to say if uh, past is false or isn't past, um, then we are going to set the past UI set active to false, like that. And uh, then we're going to set uh, time dot time scale back to one so it is normal time so uh, if you actually put this to something like 0 0.3 you're actually creating slow motion so um, that's how you uh, uh, do uh, a slow motion effect um, and then we are going to say um, yeah let, let's just uh, see if this works um, let's go back into unity 
go to our main camera and then we're going to assign our UI which is this one um, I'm just going to en enable it like that and then when we run the game you can see it is disabled and down here it says there is no input that is called button so so we first have to create that input so um, we are going into edit uh, project settings and input and then expand this and create a new one by setting this to 19 19 like that and rename it to pause and well escape yeah I just said to escape so um, now when we go back into a game and press escape you can see the menu appeared and then escape again it disappeared so that worked um, and now we are going to add functionality to the buttons